Hi, Stu Taylor here with William Brown, the president of WHB Energy Research. And uh, Buff, as you prefer to be addressed, it's, it's great to have you with us. My pleasure. Uh, give us a take on what's going on. We, we're kind of seeing a shift in momentum. More and more talk about what's going on with alternative energies, but of course, still heavily steeped in, in nuclear energy, coal, uh, gas, and oil. Uh, wh where are we on that continuum as far as moving up the ladder on one and dealing with depleting resources on our fossil fuels? Well, I think the price of oil is always a controversial topic, but I think in our, in our venue today, uh, which is reflective, I think, of overall sentiment, uh, on the oil side in particular, we're looking and investors are looking for growth opportunities. In other words, uh, what companies might there be out there who have a good chance of increasing their oil and gas production over the next several years. Alternative energy sources are still quite relevant. And in the transportation uh, mode, for example, we're talking about uh, hybrid vehicles or maybe all electric vehicles. In stationary power applications, obviously nuclear is, is relevant there. So in terms of the continuum, Stu, I think we're at uh, maybe about where we were a couple years ago. Uh, people believe that oil prices are going to remain high for the foreseeable future. So there's going to continue to be an interest in a transition to alternative sources of energy. Uh, let me ask you, being involved in the investment industry, uh, specifically related to energy, uh, typically, and I, and I guess you can say typically, if, if you go to somebody who talks about asset allocation, talk about stocks, bonds, cash, not about real estate anymore, some real estate, uh, perhaps some gold. What are your recommendations as you shift to the energy industry in terms of how you would correlate that to what you do? Well, about 20 years ago almost now, I actually, when I was on Wall Street, recommended that uh, portfolios allocate a small percentage of their assets to commodities. And uh, it didn't get much uh, press or, or, or legs, if you will, at that time. But what I've noticed is ever since 2004, there's been a move by pension funds and others to increase their uh, asset allocation to commodities. I think we're seeing this reflective in the price of oil. I think we're going to continue to see that because a lot of uh, investors believe that uh, the geopolitical situation remains extremely inflammatory in the Middle East and elsewhere around the world. Uh, they know they can recognize gains on their equity investments if the price of oil keeps going up. But there's no question that when you look at the behavior of, say, the price of oil versus stocks, uh, if you do have a disruption in the Middle East, for example, uh, you're going to generate a greater return on the commodity. All right, uh, just quickly, we've only got another minute or so here. Uh, Diane Swan, former chief economist for Mesero, for Bank One, now with Mesero Financial, wrote a profound book a few years ago on the passion of economists. I don't want to put a psychologist hat on you, but would you say the overall mindset of the investor is positive? Or are they? Or are they being held back in the same way that corporations may be held back because they're afraid to, to spend? I think in general they're, they're a bit reserved right now. Um, we've seen a start and stop economic picture in the world. I think we're going to continue to see that uh, and uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, we have to work off a lot of these financial dislocations that caused that massive disruption uh, a few years ago. So I think they're continuing to be cautious. In, in conclusion, uh, a burgeoning field, uh, the energy field right now, our first high alpha events, energy investment conference. What, what are your impressions? Well, I'm very impressed so far. I'm looking forward to participating in it. Uh, there's a very unique opportunity for a number of smaller companies who may not get, have the institutional exposure that they otherwise might have to present at this conference, present their case, and uh, I'm very excited about it.